Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 5 and the final part of this MS Batori tutorial. Today's focus is the lifeboats, funnels and all the smaller details which I forgot in the previous video. So, uh, speaking of smaller details, we're going to go down to the back end of the ship and we're going to start adding side windows to the side of the superstructure on the overhang. If you look on the prototype, just where the crosshairs are, or just, just where the crosshairs are there, you can see there's a line of windows underneath the overhang. We've got to add those now, so we're going to go right to the back end of this uh, of the overhang. Basically, so there's the overhang there of the prototype uh, of the promenade deck, and we're going to go right to the back end of the overhang, or roughly to where the uh, the white section here down below ends. And what we're going to do is add windows, and we're going to add uh, one block up from the bottom or one block down from the top, doesn't matter where, as long as you're one block from the end. We're going to add three windows, and these windows are, uh, there are three windows I think every third block, so one, uh, two, every fourth block, sorry, so one, two, three, so three windows like that, i just double check on the prototype, so yeah, we've got these, three, <laughs> got these three windows in there like that, and then you leave a three block gap, so one, two, three, and then we add three windows, which are two blocks high, so it's a window, Sorry, window, and then these windows are separated by one block. So three windows like that. So three windows like that. Three windows uh, singular separated by three blocks. And then three windows double separated by one block. And then you leave a four block gap. And on the fifth block we do another three windows. Like so. So there's two sets of those big windows. And then you leave another, th uh, another four block gap. So one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block we'll add another three windows like so, so three, three, three like that I just double check on the prototype and that's in the lineup fine, so there we are, there's those windows there and then after that there you want to add uh, leave a one block gap and then add is it a one block gap? I can't remember it's, uh, no it's a three block gap, sorry, so apologies there so after those three windows leave a three block gap and then add your first window of ten, so these, these are going to be single windows so we've got ten of these single windows every fourth block. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there's your ten windows there. And it should look something like that. And then you leave another three block gap. And then we add the three double up windows. So three windows which are doubled up. Like so. Should look something like that. I just double check the prototype, make sure I got that right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So three windows like that, and then another four block gap. So on the fifth block, we do the same again. Three windows, two blocks high, like so. And then four block gap again. We do the same again. So three windows separated by a single block like that. So three three sets of three windows like that, and then for the rest of the time. I just want to add windows going all the way forward. I don't know how many. How many did I add? I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it's ten windows we add. So if we add another ten windows forward every third, every fourth block, sorry, so I leave a three block gap from those windows and add your single window. So it's going to be ten single windows forward. So that's the first window there, and then every fourth block we do the same again. So that's number two there. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And if you want to, you can add eleventh one, depending on how much space you got. There you go. There's eleven windows there, and that is the side of the superstructure. And it should look something like that. I know I don't know. Uh, don't add windows on the hull. That's just my decision. But you can add windows, portholes, if you like, to the side of the uh, of the black hull. Personally, I don't do that. That's just my decision. But uh, there we go. So there we are. That is the uh, all those windows added on the side there. And they don't look too bad. Um, so yeah. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, do the other side, and then we can move on to the next job. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've added the windows to the other side, and it should, in theory, look something like that. And uh, don't look too bad. So what we're going to do now is avoid all that and go to do the uh, the, the beginnings of the funnel, so we're going to go to the second deck house first because we've got to do a bit of modification there. So go over to the deck house number two, and what we're going to do is go to the back wall of that. So, deck house here on the top, so this is where funnel number two will go. And on the back of the deck house, we're going to raise the back wall up by two blocks, I think, and then 
across the back like like so raise it up by two like that and then the sides you're going to raise it up by uh, two as well along the side by tw uh, 12 along the side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then two down there like that so it goes along 12 and then steps down two there and then make sure that's all filled in as well so that's the side like that and then do the same the other side so 12 forward one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve down two there and then fill that all in there and then we do the same across the front like so and then like so and then the roof in here you just want to fill this all in with white blocks as well so I'll uh, do this freehand <laughs> Actually, I'd use the fill tool, otherwise I'd be here all day. So, fill quartz by 300. And there we go. There's that section all done there. So, that's the second deck house. And the second funnel will sit right on top of that. So, that's uh, what we'll sort out in a minute. So, first of all, we're going to go back to the front of the ship's wheelhouse and count back from there for funnel number one. So, go to the centre of the front of the wheelhouse here. And from the wood on the top, for this first block is there, I'm going to count back. 22 blocks. So the first block is there, like I said, and you want to count back 22. So that's uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So 22 blocks back is where we build our funnel. Now I want to build these funnels. I'm going to, I'm going to build them all yellow, and then we'll add the stripes afterwards because uh, it makes it a lot, a lot easier. So I'm going to sort out the first base first. So the funnel front is three wide, like so, and then uh, out two and out two like that same the other side out two out two like that and then the sides are uh, four hang on is that right out two out two oh and then back two sorry <laughs> yeah, like that so it's out two out two then back two and then the sides are four one two three four and then curving back in was again we want four one two three four and then three, one, two, three, and three again. One, two, three, like that. Same the other side. We want four, one, two, three, four. And then inside four again. One, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three, three again. One, two, three. And then one in the center to join them together. And there we go. That is the base of funnel number one. And then for funnel number two, we go back to the de to the second deck house. And on the second deck house, we want to go to the... Uh, sixth block back. So on the front of the deck house goes six back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and build that three wide. So it's the same design, but because we've got the uh, the stacking of the deck of the deck house there, it's going to be a little bit different in terms of height. So it's three wide, and then out two, out two, back two, out, out two, out two, back two like that. And on the sides we want four. So one, two, three, four like that. So <laughs> Same the other side, one, two, three, four, like that. And then curving back inwards, we want four, one, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three. Same the other side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one in the middle. And there we go, there's the diameter of funnel number two. It's the same design, it's just it's on an awkward uh, slant, if you like. Yeah, so you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut because I need a sneeze and I need to uh, restart the game anyway because it's starting to really lag here. So uh, yeah, I should restart the server or restart the game and I should return and sort this out. So uh, back in a moment. Right, okay, so that's the uh, server restart. So what we're going to do now is build the funnels upwards. Now the funnel design that I'm going to use is basically uniform all the way around. So it's uh, basically just use the same design on each block of the uh, circle. So start in the centre at the front and we're going to build up uh we want to go up four one two three four and then up six behind that one two three three four five six and six again one two three four five six and that's the design we want i'm going to use that same design and all the blocks saying from there 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 all the way around the front there and then on the back we use the same design on that block there there and there and what well, across the back as well so that's the same design you want to do all the way around so i shall do some of it freehand I'll say it's up four and then six six like so. So it's up four, six, and six. Same again on the next one. Up four, six, and six, and then up four, two, three, four, 
six and six. And there's the front half done. You can see it's just basically four, six, six. It's five at the bottom if you count the bottom row, but it's up, up from there it's up four, six, six. So do the next few rows. And then across the back, so it's three, four. There we go, there's half the funnel done. So that's, the, that's uh, one side of it, and that's how it should look when it's done. And uh, it don't look too bad at the moment. So, and when we do the uh, the, the second funnel as well, because of the, uh, the height difference at the back here, so the front half will be... Uh, the same as the other half, so the front half would be up one, two, three, four, and then the two rows of six. But further back, that would just go up uh, two. So further back, it would go up one, two, and then up the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So like I say, it's the same design at the front, just you've got to take into account the uh, the two block height difference. So, like I was saying, the bottom row at the front half will be four, the bottom row at the, the other half will be two. So, uh, that's what you need to take into account, but we'll go back to funnel number one first. <laughs> now what we're going to do is we fill in all the gaps, so we'll get all those bits out of the way first. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sniffling, I've got a bit of hay fever going on here. There we go, there's half the funnel done completely. And it should, in theory, look something like that. So you do the same on the other side, and also do the, the other funnel as well if you want to, but uh, I'll come back to that in a minute. So that's, like I say, half done. So what I'll do, I'll quickly uh, copy that to the other side. So I should copy from uh, copy from there, and then copy, flip, and paste it to the other side. So um, you need two blocks forward on that, and go copy. And then we do uh, copy flip to the right and then we paste like so and there we go there's our full funnel done and it should be looking something like that marvelous brilliant beautiful um, the back end does look a bit uh, square but you may you, you can sort of adjust that if you want to but uh, personally I leave it square so for the slant of the funnel now you know the, where the funnel slants back a bit if we look at the funnel side on and you got the front half here so we go from the front we count back 10 so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and from the tenth block we remove the top row of blocks like that and that will create the slant so I did the same the other side one two three four five six plus that one and that is pretty much the slant done <laughs> this is a uh, fairly basic in terms of design but there you go and then for the uh, for the stripe which is two stripe uh, basically white red and white um, we go back to the front end and when the white stripe goes from the fourth block down so we do the same sort of thing from the side so look at it from the fourth block down and we replace the yellow with white so white 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 like that so it should be from the tenth up to the tenth block back so one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then how do we do this uh, so from the from the ninth block onwards we go underneath one and then go back like so. I did say it was the tenth, but it's the ninth block back because we're taking into account the slanty blip there. So that's the white stripe there. And then for the red stripe, we do the same again. Uh, one block down from there, we just replace the yellow with red. And just follow the contours of that white line. And the white, the, the red line is actually two blocks thick. So that's the that's the top half of it. And then we just do the second half down go a bit further forward of this one because of the, the slant of the funnel but uh, take it all into account and then slant down by one I think that's right isn't it very difficult to tell actually that's, that's a bit wrong I think, oh, well, we'll go with that anyway um, and just build 
the red. Whatever's easiest for you, whatever looks best to you, then just, then just do it. But anyway, that's the, that's the red stripe pattern. And then under the red, we want another white stripe. Um, uh, probably looks a bit better if you just adjust it a bit. As I say, it's up to you how you want to adjust this. Um, because stripes are a bit of a pain in the ass to put on, but you know, there you go. Anyway, that is. That don't look too bad. Uh, I mean, it does look a bit odd, but meh. You know, it's a thing. Um, there should be a sort of company logo insignia on the middle of it, but because the funnels are sort of that odd shape and uh, at an angle, I, I just I just left the insignia out. But if you do a bit of research, say look up MS MS Batori, uh you know, image search, and you'll find the ship. You'll you'll see the proper company logo or or insignia and it, how it should look on the funnel. But uh, like I say, as the funnel is an awkward shape and an awkward angle, I just I decided just to do the stripes. But uh, sort of get uh, get where I'm coming from with that one. But uh, yeah, it's not uh, not pretty, not beautiful, but it will do. And uh, that's half the funnel done. So what I do, I quickly copy this to the other side as well. So um, we'll get both stripes done on both sides. So I do copy flip paste and there, there's the stripes on the other side and so what I'll do is I'll add the red stripe to the front which always gets left out so the red and white stripe on the front there and also on the back as well and there we go there's our stripes added and they don't look too bad um, one more job on the inside of the funnel is to add the grill across the top now this is probably not real to the real ship or realistic to the real ship but I normally do these grills so one block down from the top and sort of one block back from the front we just add a, add a grill across the, the width of the funnel so basically a line of blocks every other block and then as you go further back you put one put it down by one block and there we go there's our grill added there and uh, it don't look too bad there, it looks alright, doesn't it? I mean, it's not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. None of that philosophy. I'm going to copyright that. Um, there we go. That is, uh, that's the first funnel done, pretty much. You can add more detail to it if you want to, like ladders and whistles, but uh, I didn't bother with that on the prototype um, because the ship is a bit more modern than that, I think. But uh, yeah, that's that's the first funnel done. So the second funnel was like I was explaining, exactly the same design. Um, but you, like I say, you just got to take into account the uh, the, the two rows there, uh, the, the the height differences. So like I say, it's the up four, and then up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The same, pretty much all the way around. You just got to take into account that the bottom row of four changes to a bottom row of three, and then a bottom row of four. Actually, it doesn't, does it? It just stays four, four, f and then it changes to th two at the other end. So I just do this freehand. So there we go. I'll just do the rest. So there we go. Two up and then up. Six. And there we go, there's half the other funnel done as well. So it's uh like I said, it's the same design, you just gotta take into account the uh awkwardness of the shape, but you know, there you go. But anyway, I'm gonna do a jump cut now while I sort this funnel out, and then uh we can move on to other details. So uh back in a moment. Right, okay, back again. So there's the funnels all in place now, and they should, in theory, look something like that. So uh yeah, that's not too bad, is it? Just a quick look around the second funnel because uh in case any of you are wondering how it meant to look, so you can take into account the back end where the uh, the height changes. So, yeah, don't look too bad, do it? Anyway, that's funnel number two done. So while we're at funnel number two, what we're going to do is on the outside edge of the of the ship's deck house, so roughly where the edge of the funnel is. The funnel actually sits right on the edge of the deck house. So what we're going to do is from the outside edge of the funnel, on the white part below, it's going to add a line of white blocks. So a line of two two and two like that on the side and then down to the deck below so it's basically just making the deck house slightly wider to incorporate the design of the funnel so there you go there's that little section there on the side and it should look something like that I should do the same the other side so on the outside edge we'll add two under the funnel 
two and then two and then down and then down there it's basically it's just making an extra line of extra line of four on the outside edge I, could, I should have incorporated that into the design of the deck house but I thought sod it I was uh, I couldn't be bothered but so uh, there we go that is that section done there so um, one more job for this deck house is to add a I think it's a support vent or a support beam but with a vent attached I don't know but on the side of the deck house on the front side I'm on the I'm on the right hand side here but it's, it's the same on both sides uh, three blocks back from the front so one two three what we're gonna do go down to deck level and then build out three like that and then back two and then inwards two so you got a sort of square like that and then you build the square up to uh, or the outside edge, outside bit you build up to three like that, and then each section you build up by one block like so. So build up like that. I think that's how it goes. So it sort of looks something like that. And then with court stairs, we should add stairs on the top on that section there, and then above that there, there, and then where it attaches to the deck house, we'll add another three steps there like that. And it's sort of a uh, uh, I don't know if it's a support or a, a ventilation thing but uh, it goes on there anyway and it don't look too bad so I'll do the same on the other side so it's three back from the front and then out three back two in two and then build back up three so you got a sort of design like that and then add the stairs Like so, and there we are, that's that deck house pretty much done. And it just makes it look a bit more uh, complete, if you know what I mean. Um, so what we could do now, we could do the same with the front deck house as well. Uh, we go behind the funnel, uh, from the back of the uh, from, from the back of the deck house, this is the first deck house. Uh, we go from the back end, we go about four forward, so one, two, three, four. And then down at deck level we build out three, one, two, three, and then... Uh, this ventilation thing is only going to be too wide, so build it two like that, and then the back wall again is three high, like that, and then the next rows in front of that are one block higher, so like that, and then the next row like that. So it's the same design, just slightly narrower. <laughs> and we just add the stairs, stairs, and the stairs around that side, and then we do the same the other side. And then the stairs on the top, like so. And there we are. There's those two ventilation thingy me what's it, and it don't look too bad. And then what we can do now is add some slabs to the fr to the top of the deck house. We're going to add court stairs, uh, court slabs rather. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to the front of the funnel, and from the front side of the funnel. So not from the front here, but from the side of the front. We're going to add slabs out to the side, like so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like that. So out to the side, like that. All the way around the back of the funnel. And all the way up to the back of the deck house. So it's basically just court slabs to cover the roof. And it just makes the, the deck house slightly higher in this area. And also the slabs actually attach to the stairs on the uh, on the vent there. So that doesn't look too bad. So that's pretty much half of it done. I'll just do the other half. And there we go, there's the slabs added there. And uh, it don't look too bad. Not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. And uh, on the top, on the prototype, I added vents into the top. So basically, not, not vents as such, but uh, sort of slits in the top of the slabs <coughs> to create the effect of, of uh, ventilation. So I remove three slabs and then do the same. What else? I've got four slits in the top like that. And then you can replace the wood inside uh, with. Uh, either leave it open or replace it with black to make it look like it's actually uh, a proper ventilation thing so uh, it's up to you how you want to do this but I shall do it with this nonetheless and then it should look something like that and in my opinion it don't look too bad there so that's that job done there so what we're going to do now is add a couple of vents behind the deck house so we'll go behind the deck house now and we'll go 
two blocks back from the centre and then out three. One, two, three. Uh, make it four. No, make, no, actually make it three. And then build up five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one back, like so. Same the other side. Out three. One, two, three. Up five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one back, like so. And there you go. There's those two vents there. And then back to the uh, the front uh, the back uh, the front of the back deck house <laughs> so the front of the second deck house on the center we'll add another vent so go to two blocks forward of that so one two and then on the center we build up six so one two three four five six and then one back like so and then we add there's that vent there and it shouldn't look too bad <laughs> yeah that don't look too bad at all so at least the ship's got its identity now you know it's got the, the masts and the funnels and things it's definitely taking shape and uh, it don't look too bad at all. So uh, I'm going to do another jump cut now while I work out what to do because I'm, I'm getting through all these little jobs and I'm trying to do it one at a time. So uh, I shall do a jump cut when I work out what to do next. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is finish off some detail which I forgot with the second funnel. Uh, the second funnel has a step section in front of it. So I'm going to go over to funnel number two. And what we're going to do is on the front of the deck house. Um, the deck house itself on the center what we're going to do is go one block back from the front and then we're going to add one block and then build it up two and then up three and then up four like that so it looks something like that and then we're going to build that to uh, I think three wide so build it three wide like so and the same on the other side like that I think that's how it goes um, but if you want to make it go around a bit further you can just by making it sort of one block further back so it looks something like that so uh, yeah do the same thing on the other on the uh, next row along so it looks something like that I mean it's not brilliant not perfect but uh, it's thing just see it on the prototype over there you can see the uh, the the, the uh, slopey bit on the front of the funnel that's what that is so uh, yeah that's the funnels all done and I'm going to leave that now because if I do any more I'm going to ruin it so uh, there we go so what we're going to do now we're going to add the white line to the hull now this is optional um, but you can see on the prototype I did add the white line on the main uh, hull there so like I said this is optional you can leave it out if you want to but it's up to you but for the white line what we're going to do we're going to go to the tip of the bow the front of the ship and on the black we're going to count down to the fourth block on the black so that's one two three and four and then from that fourth block, we're going to replace it with white, like so. And then what we're going to do, we're going to build the first part of the line 13 long. So that's one already, and then two, three, three there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So it's thirteen long there, and then one under. Go underneath. You're going to add eighteen. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw twelve, thir thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So there's eighteen there. Like that. And then after the eighteen you want to add nineteen. So underneath my one, go one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, 17, 18, 19, like that. And then after the 19, you want to go down one. And then from there, you're going to build this stripe all the way around, along the side of the ship, around the back, and up to the other side. So it's basically a long line now. You don't need to go down any further. So I shall do the first few bits freehand. So there's the first view. As you can see it goes all the way along the side. And what I do, I use well did it for the next bit. So we'll go along to the next row, which is there, and we'll replace the black with the white. Two five one fifteen with quartz. Like so. So there's the first bit there. And we just add that line all the way around the back. Now this should go uh, roughly below the pillars on the stern. So we'll go right down to the stern now, and the line should go right around the back. 
and underneath the pillars. So I'll just go right right to the tip of the stern and just add to there. And when I do the replace, it should go underneath the pillars. And there we go. There you can see that's going right underneath the pillars, and that is fine. So that's where the white line goes, right round underneath the the overhang, like so. So I'll just quickly do the white line up to the other side. I don't know where exactly, but I'll do a copy paste when I get to the point. Up uh, to there, I think. So there we are. there's the white line up the other side. I'll just quickly copy and paste the other side because I don't know where exactly it goes up and down. Well, I do, but to just save a bit of time. So I'll do do the other side. I'll copy from uh, copy from that point there, and then copy it up to the tip of the bow. Up to there. And this should work, so I do uh, copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go, there's the white line added on the other side. And it should, in theory, look something like that. Like, like I was saying, though, the, the white line is only optional. Uh, the real ship did have a line. Whether it was white, I don't know. But whether you want to add it or not is up to you. So, uh, like I say, entirely up to you in your decision. But there we go, so that's the white line added. And then for the last job, really, is to add uh, the lifeboats. So we're going to work on the right-hand side for these lifeboats. And what we're going to do is going to be um, seven lifeboat sets on each side. And there's also two extra sets down by the docking bridge. But we'll worry about that in a minute. But what we're going to do, we're going to go from the bridge wings on the side, on the front of the ship. And we're going to go underneath. And then we're going to go five blocks back from there. So uh, one two three four five I think it's five isn't it? yeah five and then on the outside we're going to add the davit so the davit is on the side like that and that's four down so that's one already two three four down and then up seven so one two three four five six seven plus two one two two like that and then inward three one two three like that so there's your first davit and then you're going to leave, you're going to count 13 back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And do the same again. So that's down 4 and up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Up 2 and 1, 2, 3 in. So there we are. There's our first pair of davits. And it should look something like that. So what you want to do then, like I said, the seven pairs of these davits on the side. So the first pair in, I should add the second pair. So the second pair you leave a three block gap, so count one, two, three, four back, and then add the next pair. So down four and then up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up two and one, two, three in. And then thirteen back again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And do the same again. So down four and then up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up two and one, two, th three, like that. And there you go, that's the second set. And then the third set, again, count th four blocks back and then do the same again. So down four and then up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up two and then across. And then 13 back, like so, and then do the same again. So there's there's the first three pairs of davits done. So you want to do that seven times down the side, so you have seven pairs in total. And then we can add the lifeboats in between. Now the lifeboats themselves are only basic and very very undetailed, but if you want to do better detail, you can. So between the first two davits, I shall build the first boat. And between the first boat, we want to go from the first davit, go um, one uh, two back, and then out inwards one. And we're going to build the keel of the boat. The keel of the boat is three, uh, two blocks wide and ten long. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And build that so it's two blocks wide, like I said. And then for the boat width and length, you add two at the front, like so. Two, two, like that. And then two, two at the back. Two, two. And then the sides, down the side, like so. And the same on the other side. like so and there we are there's the first boat pretty much done and what you want to do you can build the insides like so like that and there we are there's the first two boat uh, the first boat sorry added um 
and then we do move on to the next the next boat and do the same again. So no real detail uh, detail into this one, but like I say, you can add more detail if you want to, if you feel up to it. But uh, there we go. So just get these first two boats in place, like so, and then I move on to the third boat. I do the third boat as well. And then we can work out the differences between them. So we'll do the first, uh, the, th the second, uh, third boat. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. There's the first three boats added. Now for the first two boats, they're going to be double stackers. So on the top of the first two boats. You're going to add another boat, so I'll add the keel of the second boat, and then just do the same design again. And there we go, so that's the first two boats there, and then double stack the second one. There you go, that's the first four boats added there. So like I was saying, you want seven sets down the side of the ship, but only the first two are double stackers. The rest of them are single sets, so um, that's uh, something we're going to add in a minute. Um, for, for the rest of the boats, we can add the canvas cover now, which is basically carpet. And what did I do on the prototype? The prototype I added uh, orange covers, so on this one I shall add... What colour should we use? We shall use... Uh, blue. Blue always looks good, doesn't it? So we should add blue for the covers here, and we just add the covers to the top of the boats. And the colour is completely up to you. So like I said, I did orange on the prototype. So there's the first boat there, and then the one underneath. that and then of course the next ones <coughs> excuse me add the blue on top of those so um yeah that would be that so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do a jump cut while I work out the rest but like I was saying you want seven sets down the side of the ship and only the first two are double stackers so if we can get on and do that and I shall do the same as well I should do the other side as well so you have seven sets down each side and uh, everything should work out fine then so I should do a jump cut while I sort that and then we can move on so uh, back in a moment Right, okay, back again. So there's the lifeboats added on both sides, and it should, in theory, look something like that. So four lifeboats, double stackers at the front there, and then the rest of the boats along the side, separated by a three-block gap. So they're not they're not brilliant boats, like I was just saying, but uh, you can make your own uh, lifeboat design if you want to. They are pretty basic, so... Yeah, on, bo on both of them, they're, they're both pretty crap, but there you go. That's the lifeboats for you. Um, one more job for the lifeboats. We've got to go down to the bridge wings on the stern, to the, the docking bridge, rather. And from there, we're going to go and have to remove a few uh, a few uh, handrails. So we'll have to remove... we go just forward of the bridge wings. doesn't matter where exactly, but if we remove 14 uh, handrails, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and then we can add a lifeboat there. So it's the same design as before so plus 1 down 4 or th make it 3 down 3 and then up uh, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 2 and 3 in and then the same the other end up down 3 sorry 1, 2, 3 and 3 and up 7 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus two and three in and then after that we can add the lifeboat so build the base and that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it's the same design as on the front end or with the rest of the boats basically so they're, they're tw ten long for the keel and twelve long in total 
And it shouldn't look too bad <coughs> when it's all done. I'm lying actually, it's going to look bloody terrible, but that's the lifeboats for you. And there we go, there's the boat added. Same design as the rest, like I was saying, and then add all the crap on top, like the uh, canvases. I don't think it is canvas, I think it's just an old rag they stick over the top, but there you go. And uh, there we are, I don't think I added handrails around it, did I? Nope. So there we are, there's that lifeboat done there. And then you add the same on the other side, so I shall uh, quickly do that. So add a uh, copy from that point up there. And I want to copy to the other side, so I copy it down to the black point on the stern there. And we just want the same lifeboat on the other side. And that's me saving time. So there we are, there's the, <laughs> there's the lifeboat on the other side. And uh, it don't look too bad. At least that's my opinion anyway. So that is the lifeboats all done. Uh, one more job before we can finish this is to add a pair of staircases. And these go on the back of the boat deck. So just behind these cranes here on the stern. We want to go uh, from the centre of the deck. And we'll go I think about 8 outwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 out. And then we remove 2 blocks. And replace with stairs going down. So we'll get our wood blocks. Our wood stairs rather. And build the stairs going down with blocks underneath. Just make it a bit easier for myself. And then the stair uh, blocks underneath and the banisters two up, two up, two up, two up, two up, two up, like so. And that was the eighth block out, wouldn't it? So we'll do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we add the stairs the other side. And then the balusters both sides. So one, two, one, two, one, two there. And up two, up two, up two there. And then we go, there's the hand uh, the stairs added there. And that's the lifeboat, stairs, funnels, and all the other guff done. And uh a nice job we can do is add the handrails to so that. Handrails we can add around the boat deck. On the back of the boat deck we'll add them around uh, from the last la uh, lifeboat davit on the stern from the, uh, on, on the boat deck. So from the last boat uh, from the last davit we'll add the handrails there going around the back of the boat deck. And this will be the finishing touches basically. So we just add these handrails out to the centre and then out to the other side. And then up to the other lifeboat davit on the back here. Oh, keep adding posts, don't want those. And there we go, there's the handrails added there. And uh, that's the uh, back end of the boat deck. And the last job really is to add the handrails around the uh, the bridge deck, basically the same deck as the ship's wheelhouse. So I'll add the handrails around the back first. And then I can use weld edit to fill in the rest. Like so, so I have handrails across the back there, and then handrails up the sides to the bridge wings, basically. Or not quite up to the bridge wings, but up to a certain point there. So we do, uh, hang on. We do uh, replace, actually, yeah, replace zero with 101. And there we go. Handrails up the side there, and then up to the bridge wings on the front there. There we go. And then we do the same to the other side. So the bridge wings and then out to the side and then up or down to the other or down to the back end effectively and there we go that's all the handrails done that is pretty much all the detailing done just looking across down a look and that is it for the MS Patori that's a five part five day tutorial that I've just done and I'm quite happy with that and uh, there we go that's the ship's done. Are there any handrails on the bow? Uh, on the bridge? Yeah, you can add handrails actually around the bridge. This is something that I uh, have forgotten, but we can add these. So, we just add our handrails around the ship's bridge, or around the top of the bridge, around the wheelhouse. And there we go, there's the handrails added there. So that is the last job, that is it for the MS Batori. Uh, thanks very much for watching, subscribing, commenting, and uh, be being a patron as well, some of those. 
uh, it's all appreciated it keeps me going I did say that I am considering calling it a day at the end of the year um, I am still considering it um, there's no guarantee I will but uh, if YouTube doesn't improve their standards by not deleting or demonetizing me then uh, I'm quite happy to carry on but uh, until that is sorted then uh, I don't know but well you know we'll wait and see um, so yeah that's the Batoria done the next tutorial I am doing I am not sure yet because I've got the the Kappa corner to do next um, in the list but uh, whether I do a tutorial for it next I don't know because I have got another ship uh, in the bill in the works at the moment that's next to the Costa Concordia or in front of the Costa Concordia because I'm, I'm still working slowly on the Costa Concordia but there's no guarantee I'm going to finish it this time of uh, doomsday so um, we're going to see about that one I'll say it's about 60% done there's still a lot of detail that needs to be done on the Costa Concordia uh, so yeah that is uh, something for the future but depending on how complex it is I'm not sure whether a tutorial would be warranted really because uh, I don't want to do things that are too big and too complex but we shall wait and see on that one but uh, yeah, like I was saying uh, the next two builds are probably the Kappa Corner and whatever and probably the other ship as well I'll probably do a, a video preview of the other ship later on probably Monday Tuesday of this week I don't know we'll wait and see but um, yeah that'll be for uh, something in the future and we shall leave it at that so anyway like I was saying thanks for watching subscribing and all things like that uh, it's all very much appreciated and uh, it's appreciated and it will keep going on being appreciated so long as you're here to watch me do these ships and make a complete tit of myself while I talk to myself but there we go so yep yeah, this is Rich then signing off logging off and disappearing and I shall return with another video soon so um, bye for now